Katie Legrone in Sarasota. Months after the state began its controversial transition here at New College of Florida, the board selected interim president Richard Corcoran to be the school's new permanent replacement. It's a selection that was expected, but not without some strong opposition. Trustee Jacob. Mr. Corcoran. Before a less than packed boardroom, New College of Florida's Board of Trustees selected a familiar face to lead the college permanently. Richard Corcoran. Richard Corcoran has a majority. In a 10 to 2 vote, the board chose interim president Richard Corcoran to be its permanent president. So Richard Corcoran will be president of New College of Florida. Finishing what he began in February when the school's board chose the former Florida Education Commissioner to temporarily lead New College through a controversial state overhaul. That transition prompted by what Governor Ron DeSantis described as a war on woke in higher education. That was totally expected. We knew that was a farce from the beginning. But on a campus mired in recent clashes. Get up. Stand up. Corcoran selection didn't come without strife. I got a problem with racism, transphobia, and hate. Hours earlier, a few dozen students gathered on campus to protest against the college's ongoing culture shift. <laughs> and Corcoran, one of three finalists for the permanent spot. Wow. He's walking all over us, so we're going to walk back, and this is a way that we can show that and show how much disrespect he's kind of put towards our community. In January, Governor DeSantis appointed six new conservative members to the school's board of trustees. Since then, change here has been swift and critics say politically motivated. The former president was fired, the college's diversity office eliminated, and its gender studies program is being dissolved. I look on in disbelief as the fabric of this institution has been shredded in nine short months. While less than a dozen members of the public, mostly students or alumni, voice their opposition to a President Corcoran. Don't allow Corcoran to become president. The majority of trustees praised his leadership over the past eight months and his political connections. We are in uh, a, a time that requires a specific type of character. And ultimately, I think that's uh, why I'm supporting uh, Richard Corcoran. Corcoran is a GOP heavyweight, former Speaker of the House, and close friend and ally of Governor DeSantis. He, he inspires the confidence uh, that he does have the, the vision. In the end, that kind of candidate history clearly mattered most to a board focused on continuing to move new college in a whole new direction. No comment from Richard Corcoran. Now, this vote technically means he can start negotiating that presidential contract, which could top well over $1 million a year. I'm Katie Legrone. Back to you.